Hi, 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 everybody. This is Soul Proud Morning, and it's time for Women in Business. Now, I hope that you are getting interactive with us on all our social media platforms. Now, we all know that when it comes to women in business, we bring you women who are doing amazingly well in the world of business. They share their stories with you. For those of you that are aspiring to be business owners, to be entrepreneurs, this is a great segment for you. My name is Asia Dua Akumia, the Golden Girl. And as you can see, I am at the East Legon branch of Chriselle Beauty Spa. Yep. So I'm going to go in there and have a wonderful conversation with the owner of Chriselle Beauty Spa because guess what? She has so many things to share with you, especially young ladies out there. So yes, let's get ready to go in. morning and it's still women in business on prime morning my name once again is Asia Dua Akumia the golden girl and I am here with Chriselle okay so we are present at Chriselle Beauty Spa it's also you know has a cosmetology school but no 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 I'm going to leave it all for her to give us every single thing detail that you would need in relation to the services that are provided right here at Chriselle Beauty Spa Christina Formedi mm -hmm. Hi. hi once again hi once again yeah yes how are you i'm good how are you doing i'm doing awesome and i'm happy i'm happy to be here this is a beautiful edifice thank you my goodness you've done so well thank you now the question here that i know that a lot of people will be asking how did you get here mm. how did it all start all right so i've always loved beauty okay i've always wanted to do something like this yeah so I, ha I had a dream. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. So after SS, senior secondary school, yeah. I studied beauty therapy at FC Beauty, Clin beauty School. OK. Yeah, I was actually, my badge was the second badge of the school. I did FC for a year. And after FC, I had to go back to the university. You know, your parents would always push oh, you to do the no, formal so education. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I went to do my um, bachelor's. Okay. And then after the bachelor's, I did a master's. But somewhere along the line, during the master's, the drive to yeah. do beauty was still there. So first year in master's school, I opened Chriselle. Okay, okay, wait. So let's take, let, let's, let's take it back a little. So bachelor's, what was it in? In sociology and psychology. And the master's? The master's is human resource. Okay. That's MBA. Okay. So whilst I was in the MBA class, I was selling. Wow. Yes. Uh, prior to that, during the bachelor's, I was selling from the trunk of my car. Cosmetics and clothes. So in the master's, I had to open a shop. And then during the time that I was, I got the shop ready, but I didn't have the product. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because the dream was there. The dream was so there. how do you get to the dream, yes. you understand? Yes. It had to start from somewhere. So you I, got the shop. I got the shop. Wow. I didn't have the product. But I had some of the leftovers, you know, from the, from the trunk, trunk of, of the of car. The car. Uh, and then nice. a, a lady who had a shop next to mine was like, Crystal, you need to open. Because any time lectures close, I had to come back and see what's like, just to admire my space, <laughs> my very first shop, you understand? And she was like, you need to open. And I said, okay, um, but this is what I have. So I'm, I, I want to make some money, like, and then pool, I, I mean, pool resources yeah. to get the place filled up. It was quite big, about half of this size. So then she said, no, but you need to start from somewhere. My shelves were ready and I had to start. So I, I arranged everything on just one shelf in the shop. So, so, so how many shelves were there? So we had, about, we had yeah. about six shelves and the middle one just had my products. <laughs> the rest were empty. Empty. But then we opened. What? Yes, I opened. I got some girl to sit there whilst I was in school and finishing up. 
But then I, before I could realize, the whole place was full. Like within a year, it was full. Because whatever I sold, I invested back into the business. You wouldn't get somebody to give you bulk money. Yes. And you know, cosmetic is capital intensive. Yes. So I was making the money and investing it back into the business. You were not, okay, so you started the business because it was your passion. My passion. That's why you started mm -hmm. it. You were not looking for a side hustle to make money. No, because the beauty had always been there. Fine. Doing hair for my sisters in the house, ah. you understand? See, yeah. it, it had always been there. Yeah. That yeah. means you're HR, they are quite then. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're HR, they're quite then. Wow. So with MBA, I was in a store selling cosmetic products and clothes. It was a duplex. The store was actually a duplex. So I closed the staircase and then was doing the cosmetics. And then later, when I finished my MBA, uh, MBA I did the clothing upstairs. And then it gave birth to the spa because my clients would come and they'll say, Chris, you need to... Oh, well, Add the well. service okay. to, to the retail, okay. you understand? Right, right, right. But I was looking at the space that it wasn't, it wasn't big enough for me. Mm. I, I'm little, but my dreams are to see me. Were there any challenges that you were facing at that time? What were some of the head-on challenges or hurdles that you had to cross over? Okay, so I had some challenges, and but because I was somebody who didn't really look at my shoulders okay. to be bothered about the things people said. People were saying. So people were talking. People were talking. Mm. Because I was lucky to have a very good car at that time. Okay. And I was selling from that car. Right. So they didn't even get the concepts around <laughs> driving a Passat ah. in those days and selling things, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because Passat at that time was one yeah, of the... Yeah, you were bougie. You yeah. were bougie since the 80s. But not business, no. It was me. <laughs> right. You understand? So yeah. my other challenge, if I would say that I really was bothered with, was the fact that I couldn't really sit and focus on the studies. Oh. Yes. Because um, I felt like I was more... Um, into the business. Into the business. Okay. Okay. Than, okay. Okay. Than staying in, 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 class. in class. Right. You understand? Yeah. So when I finished, that was during the, uh, uh, what's the name? The bachelor's. The bachelor's. So when I wanted to do the, the master's, the mm. MBA, mm. I had to really sit down and decide what path I wanted to take. Okay. Yeah. So. I needed a strong pursuit, which I thought would be in the human resource. Because mm. if I want to have a business that will go far, yeah. I needed to understand the people that I would work with. That's you true. understand? Yes. Yeah. So with sociology and psychology, and at that time, University of Ghana was not offering any masters in any of those disciplines. Okay. And see, what do I do with yeah. it if I want to further school? Yeah. yeah. And I wanted something that would benefit me, but wouldn't be a skill based. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I did the, what's the name? Human Resource, MBA, mm -hmm. Human Resource, yes. Now, fast forward. Yeah. You established, you started off by getting the space. Although you didn't have the product, yeah. but the dream was there. The dream and was And you made there. a move. Mm -hmm. And then, as time went on, the products kept coming in because what you were getting, you're putting it back into the yes. business. So you were not getting any profit to no. buy something nice for yourself or no. do something nice. No. Nothing of that sort. I was actually going against everything my finance teacher taught me in class. <laughs> yeah, because you need to pay yourself. I wasn't yes. paying myself. Yes. I was rather putting the, the money back into the business. So how many workers do you have at that I time? I had about, I started with two. Okay. Yes. And then it went to four. Right. When I added the clothing. Okay. Yeah. And you were able to sort them out every month? Yes. I was able to sort because, ah, me cry yeah. HRO. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I understand investing in the people who make the business move on or mm -hmm. run the business. You mm -hmm. understand? 
I need to worship the people who will stay in the that's business. True. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But let's come to the people that you worked with. Yeah. Working with people. You studied HR, and so you had to put yourself in a situation where you had to, you know, like you just said, ask also some or also crock or yes. you have to be that sweet boss for them to continue staying yeah. with you. But on the other end, how were they towards you right from the beginning? Yeah, um, I think there was a problem because I was young. Okay. And they didn't see the vision that I had. Right. Yeah. Even though we had uh, meetings and then I would tell them our projections for the week, the month, and mm. then the year. Mm. But it, along the line, I realized that it's because of um, the educational background. It was difficult for them to see what I was seeing or okay. understand me from... Um, there, was a, there was a gap. Right. I am coming from an MBA background. They don't have that. In who can be beer, they don't understand. understand they are only looking yeah. for the day to day, the yes. tips. Yeah. And yeah. then what they will get at the end of the month. Yeah. Until they don't make projections, they don't have a plan. You understand? That's true. But I keep doing that. And luckily for me, I have people here now who understand that kind of the concepts right. that you understand. Right. In see, like Miss Rose, one of my old workers mm. here. Because she's seen me do this over and over again. Right. Miss Rose, what is our projection for next week? What are we what is what is for next month? You yeah. understand? Yeah. Because we can't just be running in and in out and of out. here yeah. without any plan. Incredible. Without any plan, yeah. So you even had to hold your hands and teach them something. Teach. And you've done well. Oh, I'm trying. You have done well. Okay, so you've expanded beautifully. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when we looked at the outside, when you look at the uh, facility from the outside, you can tell that there's more to the business. So let's talk on what you offer, the services. Okay. What do you do? So we do facials. Yeah. We do manicure, pedicure, mm -hmm. hairdressing. Um, we do makeup, okay. lash extensions, and yeah, everything beauty. Yeah. 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 And there's a school upstairs. And there's a school upstairs. <laughs> yes, there's a school yes. upstairs. So that's the Crystal School of, of Cosmetology. Cosmetology. So viewers, it's been an incredible conversation with Crystal. Uh, we're still here. And it's time for us to start the tour. Uh, but before that, we need to see exactly the products that Crystal has. She needs to tell us a little bit about it. So Chris, please sure. lead the way. Mm -hmm. Yes. So guys, come with us whilst we see the products that are displayed on here yeah okay so what do we have so we have the dermalogica products okay we have mary Kay. we have um elements and then parrots coconut oil for hyperpigmentations and see where it ha it's i did this myself in my kitchen Carrots, coconut oil. It's all organic and it's good for hyperpigmentations. And so if you have dark knuckles or any hyperpigmentation on the face, this product is ideal. And then we have, we also have the hair growth oil. This is really great as well. And see, this one has coconuts, it has oregano, and then it has um, castor oil, black castor oil. And see, women with alopecia, um, receding hairline, this is really great. Say, so, oh, you use this and then you see new growth as little as um, in a week or two. Oh, by the way, viewers, I didn't tell you, they serve one of the best teas here. We do. We do. Yes. <laughs> one of the best teas you could ever get. Yeah. And so, ladies, in fact, gentlemen, when you come here, know that you would be given some tea that will make you feel relaxed, Relax. very comfortable, very okay. You feel <laughs> good about yourself. Yes. So, Chris, where, where, where else do we go to now? Where so, do you want to so I can show home? you the, mm -hmm. the pedicure section okay. and then the, the treatment room as well. Okay. And then we go to the school. All right. So, viewers, get ready for that as well.
All right, Chris, so where do we start with for the Tory? I can see some clients are yeah, so busy having their pedicure done. Yeah, so this, yeah, is, our so this is our pedicure session. Okay. Yeah, that we take care of your foot, give you a good scrub, and yeah. then massage it just to relax the muscles for your next, uh, what's the name, trip or something. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. What exactly do you do to the feet? So, first of all, we remove the dead skin cells, yeah. that's the colors, and then we massage, we scrub with an exfoliant, okay. and then after the, after the exfoliating, we do the massage of the entire foot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Then we mask it just to make it look beautiful and soften the skin around the feet. Okay. Yeah. Please pardon our interruption. I hope you're having fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's sweet. So, Chris, where else do we go to? So, we go to the treatment room where okay. we do the facials, the massage, and everything. All right. Yeah. All right. So, can you do that? Okay. Welcome to our treatment room. Okay. Nice. So this is where we do facials, massage. Okay. Yes. Okay. All the beauty things. Okay. So what is going on here now is some facials. It's a facial. Okay. Yes. Must be very relaxing. Yes. <laughs> I should come for one very soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So where else do we go to? Um. So we go to the school then. The school. Yes. So okay. Down and down. Okay. All right. So viewers. Uh, our beautiful client here, as you can see, she's having her facials. Um, we are still at Crystal Beauty Spa. I did tell you earlier about the special tea, didn't I? Yeah, so I have my cup of special tea from Crystal Beauty Spa. It's a collagen tea. You know the health benefits of collagen. Crystal is going to be the best person to tell us all the health benefits of collagen. Mm -hmm. But, um, so... Hi, hello, sorry to bother you. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Oh, like I said, I can't wait to come and experience this myself at Crystal Beauty Spa. Yeah. But the steaming, what's the steaming doing? I mean, I'm So curious. it's softening the follicles, the skin, so that if you have to do extraction, you go ahead with the oh, extraction. Extraction, yes. Yes. okay. Mm. Okay. That's nice yeah. so how often can you do something like this okay so a facial depending on the condition of your skin or mm. the state in which it is when you come mm. yeah so with severe acne would advise that you do twice in a month okay yeah but if you have a, a good condition if your skin is okay right. once once a month once of a, a facial month. yeah that would be a, just a deep cleanse mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, you know, a lot of people, one major concern that people have, mm -hmm. looking at the current economy, yes. our pockets. Mm. So somebody would be interested in doing something, I have coming to have their facials, their pedicure, manicure is done. But would you say that Crystal Beauty Spa, everything here is pocket friendly? Yes. Everything here is pocket friendly. Okay. And even when you come and you feel it's expensive, we, we are able to do something about it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But our, mo our main focus is to deliver. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Make sure that whatever you come here with, you see results. Mm. Yes. So when we are talking about the results, sometimes they don't think about the money anymore. Ah. I have <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So it's time for us to take a tour yeah. at the school. The yeah. school is actually upstairs. upstairs. So come with us and let's go upstairs. So this yeah. is the cosmetology school. Okay. Yes. So this actually used to be my house. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, I lived here. And then I turned it into the business. Wow. Yes. OK. So you're welcome to Crystal School of <laughs> Cosmetology. Nice. Yes. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hey, where are you from? 
me. I... Hello, everybody. Hi. I like that. Okay, so this is a school. Yes. So what we're coming up, you said that this used to be a house. Yes. And you turned it. The business. Yeah. Nice. Incredible. Okay, so what's going on here? So this is the hair business section. Okay. Yeah. We have the, um, these students are graduating very soon. And then we have these new ones coming in. So what she's doing is a bleeding. She starts with the, um, she's doing the bleeding, then not first bleeding. Yeah. And then we have the soaking of the weight parts. Okay. So okay. all the weight parts are to see and display. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right, Sanj. Oh, what the other yeah. section? Yeah, we have the makeup student also at this section. Okay. Nice. I can see the work is going on fine. And over here on this board, yeah. just there. Uh, it's not a joke here. The it's school. not a joke here. It, so when you enter the South School of Cosmetology, you do one month of theory. Um, because before you touch the plant, you need to know the skin type, the hair type. Okay. You understand? Okay. Before you do any product application okay. or treatment for the plant. Mm -hmm. And then we also, we also teach you customer relations. So the customer's journey from the time she enters to the time she leaves, you need to know all that before mm -hmm. you come onto the field to do the plant. Yes. Okay. All right, this is incredible. And uh, over here, it's still the part of the makeup. Yes, it's part okay. of the makeup. So okay. it depends on the numbers that comes. So how old is the school? The school is actually six years. We started with apprenticeship, but then we officially became a vocational school three years ago. Nice. Yes. Yeah, is it easy for anybody to want to be a part of the school? What's coming mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's easy. The, the fees are not really expensive. Okay. But the key is you must have an interest in beauty to join my school. That's sure. You won't go, you won't miss out the theory bit and then go straight to the practical. So, That's true. Yes. Okay. I can see the girls are very busy with their hair and their makeup and all of that. And so you've done the nature very so thank you. I would say congratulations because it's really great.